wall gaps have become a symbol of the local border crisis, but soon the wall could look like this. In my car, as you can see, the burger fared a little bit better than the bacon. We can break the burger in half. See, you can see it is nice and well done. Not the biggest county in Arizona, sunny Yuma is at the forefront of many issues in this year's election. Are not yet finished. Uh, Donde va? Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. Adonde va? Houston. Adonde va? Okay. New York. So we have Iowa, Houston, Pennsylvania, these migrants heading all across the United States. Instead, they take refuge on the street, relying on the generosity of strangers to meet their basic needs. It's unclear if it'll be pulled off the ground and put on the wall as part of these new construction projects. That means property owners in Yuma County are still being taxed. Today I spoke with both sides about where things stand and tried to get to the bottom of this local blame game. The Yuma wall gaps have become a symbol of the local border crisis, but soon the wall could look like this. And that's because the Department of Homeland Security has given the go ahead to Customs and Border Protection to take the next steps to start wall construction. U.S. Senator Mark Kelly from Arizona has been pushing for the Biden administration to fill in Yuma's border gaps. Very clear to me in my first visit there that it was ridiculous that we had these gaps in, in the border wall, and that's why we're getting them closed up. While the politics surrounding the border wall continue to divide the nation, Kelly says building barriers where it makes sense helps security in the border cities like Yuma. When those agents have to sit there and police a 60-foot gap, that doesn't really help with the with the overall picture and the overall problem. Kelly says some contracts will be finalized by the end of September and hopefully construction can begin soon after. It's important that we get this done as soon as possible. Mayor Nichols has publicly advocated for the gaps to be finished, but his hands were tied. In the Yuma sector, a lot of that land is federal land, so it has to at some point be the federal government doing it or allowing it to be done one way or the other. He says it's encouraging to see action from the federal level, but says there's more to be done. Will it shift? Yeah, it could shift the traffic, but it definitely will help secure some of that area. The shift in traffic potentially going to other Wallace areas along the border, like the Kokopah Reservation, where the federal government doesn't have permission to build a wall. Migrants continue to cross into the United States here nightly, searching for a better life. We crossed here because it is the way that is easiest. And this is all border barrier that has been sitting here since President Biden's first day in office. It's unclear if it'll be pulled off the ground and put on the wall as part of these new construction projects. If you'd like to see my full interview with Arizona Senator Mark Kelly, it's on our website, KYMA.com. Reporting in Yuma, Adam Klepp, News 11. Another big group of migrants here waiting to be apprehended by Border Patrol in the Yuma sector. It's been a long process for many of them just to even get to this point, but their journeys are not yet finished. Uh, Adonde va? Pennsylvania. Adonde va? Houston. Adonde va? Okay. New York. So we have Iowa, Houston, Pennsylvania, these migrants heading all across the United States after they'll be processed here in the Yuma sector. And this is just one group on one night in one border sector. Over 100 migrants and just one agent to process them all. For asylum seekers, Yuma is just a brief stop on the way to their final destination. Adonde va? Eh, a Chicago. Jeremy Atria is 19 and traveled with his aunt, uncle, and cousins from Peru, leaving his parents behind. It's not the best thing that you would like to do, but uh, that, that's, that's life, I guess. He says the journey here was stressful and that his family had to pay over $1,000 in bribes to Mexican immigration oh, officers. Like we are a family of six members, so they know that we, we can leave one of us, so they may, may put pressure. We have to say yes to accept the, their conditions uh, because if not, well, uh, they will take us to the office and send back to our country in, in the worst case. Echeria plans on heading to Pennsylvania to stay with family, adding ultimately the struggles to get where he is now were worth it. I'm happy to, to, to make a new plan of my life. Joining the now over 200,000 asylum seekers who have been processed in the Yuma sector this year, hoping for a better future in the United States. Reporting in Yuma, Adam Klepp, News 11.